I'm gonna straighten my right leg. As I do this, I'm gonna switch over, hit, heist my legs over, and kick my left leg, which is now my bottom leg, completely out and straight, okay? Now, when I'm in this position, now from here, I'm gonna get my left hip to the wall. I'm gonna square up, drop my here. He still has my leg a little bit, but it's no big deal. All I'm gonna do is straighten it out and stretch it. Once I, once I'm, my leg is straight right here, now I'm gonna reach, stand up. I'm gonna block like this so he can't double leg me. I'm gonna kick this leg forward hard, breaking it free. And now I'm gonna turn into him. I use my elbow and I'll frame it right in his neck. This is perfect for keeping him away. If he lifts my leg up, I still have this. I'm gonna pull on the tricep. I'm gonna straighten my leg as I pull, use this frame to put him away. Now I'm standing again. I'm always looking to push ahead. Yeah. And when I push ahead, I push like this. Okay. Do you feel the difference when I squeeze? Yeah, I do. I'm squeezing. I like to get up here, right, right behind the ears, because that's yeah. a fucked up spot to squeeze someone, but I'm gonna push right here. I'm gonna look to get this leg up. I can't, obviously. I'm gonna switch back this way. And even right here, I'm okay. In yeah. MMA, all wizards, so we can't get behind me. Yeah. And whatever I want, I'm gonna stand up. Hey Vince, can you go ahead, say what you're gonna say, and then I want you to show that again. Okay. But when I do it, there's steps that I follow, but then there's steps that I don't follow. I constantly watch the guy read him how he's moving. Right there, I rarely push the head like I did, but the way you reacted yeah. made me see that. So there's steps I'm going to give you, but there's also things that you need to see the way the guy moves. Because yeah. in Jiu-Jitsu, there's moves that are right. I won't say those moves are wrong. There's moves that work, there's moves that don't work in certain situations. Try something. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. If it does, it does. That's why I want to give you these tips, but I don't want to say like, you have to do it like this. Yeah. Make it yours. Every time someone teaches me something, I take what I, what I like from it, what I could use, and I make it my own. I steal it, that's what everyone does. Same thing you need to do. When I show you this, you need to figure out the steps in your way, how your body works, and then add your own little shit to it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Cause you have your own tricks that you're good at too. Sure. That you style people like that trip you do. So, you get that trip and misses, now you have that vine spear. Yeah. I guarantee you'll hit that. Yeah, for sure. Nine and a half out of ten times. Okay, can um, you break down how you switch? The, the, the leg switching, switching sides. Okay. So you can free up your bottom leg. Right. I'm going over just a basic get up. Um, someone's got you against the cage, preferably. Um, I really enjoy the wall of the cage. It's, it's like having a buddy in there, <laughs> honestly. A lot of times, like, Let's see if I don't have the wall. I need to get up. I gotta use, I gotta use my limbs. I have to use a little more, a little more of my body, a little more of my weight. If I have the wall, I'm able to fight someone as I'm standing up. So this is the main reason why I like the wall. But anyway, uh, come here, Andrew, I'm showing Andrew uh, right now. This is Andrew Mendoza, MMA fighter uh, from PG over here. He also trains over at uh, Gabe's place. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce it. How do you say it? Kaju. Kaju, um, we're also training. Sandoval Muay Thai, Bat Cave. He's all over the place. Shout yeah. out to all of them. Yep, shout out. Uh, and PG, of course. Okay, mm -hmm. so th this, is a, this is a situation that a lot of people get in, especially against the wall. I'm showing Andrew how to get up. To get up from this position, you need to get your bottom leg out. And what I mean by bottom leg is the bottom leg on the side that you prefer to get up on. If I'm going to go to my right, my right side is my bottom leg. I need to get that leg out. If I want to go left, my left becomes my bottom leg. I need to get my bottom leg out. This is the fundamental of getting up against the wall um, in MMA or grappling or anything. So I obviously, <clears throat> I, want, I would like to go the same way that he's going. I want to fight and I want to go this way so we could kind of fight with each other. I got my wizard. I don't want to risk him going to my back if I turn the other way. If I go this way, it gives, it gives him the opportunity to go to my back. So I want to go with him first. However, he's trapped my bottom leg. I'm not able to get my bottom leg out. No matter how much I fight, He's pulling that leg, I'm not going to get it out. 
So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a fast motion. This is how it's gonna look. I'm gonna straighten my right leg, breaking his grip on my shin. Donkey push and straighten. As I do this, I'm gonna switch over, hit, heist my legs over, and kick my left leg, which is now my bottom leg, completely out and straight. And, come over here, Brian. When I do that, my hip comes off the ground. My hip is no longer on the ground when I do this. Now, from this position, I'm okay to get up. I'm gonna grab, not a full wizard yet, because I don't really have the, the reach to overextend myself like that, but I'm gonna stop his head with my elbow, and I'm gonna grab right by his lat. This is the grip that I like to use, because it allows me to pull him or push him if I need to. Push or, or pull, push, okay? Now, when I'm in this position, now from here I'm gonna get my left hip to the wall. I'm gonna square up um, parallel with the wall, going in the same direction as the wall. Drop right here, he still has my leg a little bit, but it's no big deal. All I'm gonna do is straighten it out and stretch it. Once, I, once I'm, my leg is straight right here, now I'm gonna reach, stand up, go for my wizard. If he's still behind me in the way that he is now, I'm not gonna go for my wizard. I'm gonna block with this arm on this side. I'm gonna block like this so he can't double leg me. I'm gonna kick this leg forward hard, breaking it free. And now I'm gonna turn into him with my, me personally, go back to where, me personally, I use my elbow and I'll frame it right in his neck. This is perfect for keeping him away. If he lifts my leg up, I still have this. I'm gonna pull on the tricep. I'm gonna straighten my leg as I pull, use this frame to pull him away. Now I'm standing again. Um, seems like a lot of complicated motions, but it's super simple. I'm just going to do it in, in normal speed now. Nice. That, that's how it looks. So I noticed in normal speed, you didn't, you didn't use that, that lat grip with the elbow. No, I didn't. But have to. you used the elbow at the end to keep I, him away. Yes, I did. Mm -hmm. I, I like to use the elbow because Brian's taught me, my coach Brian Peterson has taught me, always keep your elbows in. So I have this habit of grinding my elbows back when someone's behind me, which has been a good habit that's, taught, that's helped me a lot in my career. But I think that's what kind of got that elbow naturally come out is when you come in, when, when I'm getting up and he's grinding like but it's that. that. It's that switching of the legs that is like awesome. But go ahead. Go yeah, ahead. So I, like right here, I, I don't want this to come up across my body. Yeah. If it comes up across my body, then it's, then it's bad. So that's why if he lock here, yes. I get my elbow in. Now he can't get across my body. If he tries to go across my body, he's like, I have this, and if this fails, I have this. Right. I have a double fail safe. Typically, they don't get past that. Then boom, I'm gonna switch my hips right into him, form the neck, still blocking the arm. Boom, shove him away. Yeah. From there, this is a good position in Muay Thai kickboxing. I get the yeah. knees, I give him a quick elbow. Um, Here, show, show again, just the concept of like, he's going to one side, he's attacking your bottom leg, so you just make it a new bottom leg. Yeah. But uh, there, and then there's the details of you're straightening your legs, you're freeing up your leg. Yeah, it, it, it's a, it's the game of benches that anyone knows, so. I'm gonna try to get my bottom leg out, I can't. Let's just switch this side, here's the bottom leg again. Grab my bottom leg better. It's like locking hands around both my legs. Yeah. Now he's gonna pull me out, right? He's not gonna let me go. Switch back that way, and this I, time you have a wizard. I, I have a good wizard. Yeah. I already got my bottom leg out. Even if he grabs my bottom leg now, I don't even care. I'm still gonna stand up, and I'm gonna be right here. From this position, I have a wizard. He's pushed me against the cage, but honestly, in my opinion, I'm in the advantage here. He, he has me against the cage, but I can strike, I can knee, which he can too, but he has to let go of me. It's his job to hold me here. It's my job to fight and hit him while he's trying to hold me. It's the same as jiu-jitsu when you're on the ground. When I'm on the ground, I'm on bottom. It's not my job to hold the guy. It's my job to wait for an opening, create space, an opportunity to escape or, or catch submission or, or advance my position. Same or thing strike. Here. Yeah, or, or strike. strike. Yeah, same yeah. thing applies here. Um, so, yeah. so again, it's a super simple thing. It's, it's not hard. The hard part is fighting this guy. It's not the steps of how you get up. It's reacting to how this guy's gonna move. Right there, I could have got out, but I'm gonna go back. Now I'm completely out. Look how easy it is. And look, this right here too, if you want another way I push the head, I'll get underneath and I'll shove his chin. Right. That's a real shitty thing to do. I hate doing that shit to me, it sucks. 
so I use yeah. it. <laughs> but you, you know, there, there's probably a load of people out there that probably are holding on. The guy's holding on to your bottom leg, and they keep trying to get up. They keep trying to get up, and then they don't have the concept of just make a new bottom leg. Since he's so focused on your bottom leg, your right bottom leg, make him have to focus on that and then go to your left. Yeah. And then going back and forth is a huge little tip to help these guys get up. Yeah, exactly. You're absolutely right. It's, uh, it's playing the game. Um, think about it. If you're going to shoot at someone, what are you going to do? Are you just going to shoot? No, because the guy's going to shoot a mile away. He's just going to move out of the way stuff. He's do something stupid. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. What are you going to do? You're going to pick, you're going to attack, you're going to come high, and then you're going to shoot. Right. You're gonna throw go left, go there. right. Yeah. You're going to set it up. This is the same concept. You're yeah. switching back and forth, back and forth. Giving him stuff to think about while giving him multiple things to think about while your one thought is just to get up. So right. it, it, to me, I love, I love being in this position where someone's trying to keep me down because I, I know I'm always going to get up. With these simple, easy steps and knowing all I need to do is get that back leg out, I'll get up every time and I'm not even afraid. Um, I highly recommend everyone get good at this because I know everyone gets stuck against some kind of wall or cage. Even the best wrestlers get stuck in a cage. I can't tell you how many times I've gone with a good wrestler and open mat, I get my ass beat. But against the wall, a, a good wrestler, is, I'm, they're hard, I'm hard for them to handle because of these techniques that I know. So uh, use these techniques, um, super simple. Just work hard at it um, and get good at it. Um, you know, uh, practice makes perfect and practice is everything. Right on. All right. Teach me grappling, you guys. Hope you enjoyed. That's Vince Pichel. Later. <laughs>